What's going on gamers? Chris here with Hellsplash Gaming and we're getting into winter trollstice. Oh yeah, that day after turkey day. The day that people leave their turkey early, throw the mashed potatoes and drumstick down and head straight to their nearest big box store to stand in line for four hours so they can save a few bucks on their flat screen television. Oh, I don't blame you. I'm not judging. But I'm here to help you with that essential gamer in your life. I have 20 gifts for gamers that you can find with the links in the description below. So if you don't want to leave your house on Friday, check it out. Let's get into it. First one up is a big hitter for many people and it's probably going to be on their Christmas list, their big present. And that's the Arcade 1-Up Arcade Cabinet. Anywhere from 150 bucks to 430 from the regular size arcade cabinet to the cocktail cabinet. And it doesn't really make a difference. If you have a gamer in your life, they are going to love an arcade to go into their bedroom, their game room, their living room, the kitchen, in their parents' bedroom. It doesn't matter. If they get one, they'll put it anywhere in the house. Next up are some really cool, unique NES cartridge coasters. Who doesn't need a coaster in their house? And if you have a gamer, then go ahead and get them the cool ones. Nobody wants the basic stuff, we want the NES style cartridges. For 10 bucks, you can't go wrong. A great little stuffer, if you know what I mean. And it's a great gift for anybody that's a fan of the NES. Next up is the NES and Super NES Guidebook by Pat Contry. These are essential for that old school retro gamer. The old salty dog in your life. If he needs to get something nice, then get him this book. It goes over every game from North America for the NES and Super Nintendo. It talks about the game, it gives you like a review, it talks about some memories at times. It is an essential thing for any retro gamer, and one that I even have on my wish list. Oh. You couldn't make a 20 list without putting at least one console. And we're talking about the old Nintendo Switch Lite. Oh yeah, the light. We're talking about the Switch Lite because it is insane. I have a Switch, I love it, but to have a little handheld, the new edition of the Game Boy, go for the Switch Lite. At 199 bucks, and I think you can even find it for 175 on Black Friday, it might be the way to go. It might be the number one selling gift this holiday. So if you have a gamer in your life, the Nintendo Switch Lite would be, ah, perfecto. We're moving on to a little cutesy gift for $13.99er, and that's the Mario Warp Pipe Koozie. It's just a canned koozie, but it's so cool, and it screams gamer. So if you've played Mario, and anybody who's played video games knows who Mario is, this is an essential for any game room, for any bar, for any barcade. Oh yeah, I got a barcade now, you know what I'm saying? So check it out, the Mario Warp Pipe Koozie. Pretty sweet. We have some more consoles, but they're not the PS4, the Xbox, everybody wants one of those if they don't have it. I'm talking about the classic consoles that range anywhere from 30 bucks. If you're the PlayStation Classic, poor guy, just couldn't quite get away with anything this year. And the Genesis, the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo, those are fantastic classic consoles and everybody would love to have one of these in their collection. I've got two, I need to catch up. Another big hitter, and this is literally on my wish list. I'll, I'll not ask for anything ever again. I won't ask for a Christmas present or a birthday present for the next year. And it's the AT or At Legends Ultimate Arcade, and it's 599 bucks. Woo, a little spender, I get it. But if you got the pockets for it, there is nobody out there that wouldn't love to have this. It has 350 built-in games and a plethora it's a big word for me, plethora of other options. You can hook up other HDMI devices, you have USB connections, you can play your Steam library, you can add your own ROMs and emulators to it. It is probably one of the coolest arcade cabinets that I've ever seen, ever. Well, I'm already draining your wallet with the last ones. Let's just get right into the next one, the games units. Now games units, oh, do you guys think I like those? <laughs> I think so. The games units are an absolute must have for people that wanna take their games on the go. And we're not talking like the Nintendo Switch or the Switch Lite. No, these are the full on PS4, the Xbox, or even a micro ATX to pay which case you get. These games units are absolutely amazing. I have the Vanguard and the Guardian. They are quite spendy anywhere from 280 bucks to $700, depending on whether you get the 720p Vanguard or the 2K Guardian. And there's stuff in between. The Sentinel's right in the middle. There's something for everybody. If you have some pockets that have a little bit of cash flowing out of them, then a games unit would be perfect for anybody that wants to take their gaming system on the go, keep it protected, and have a sweet screen with it. For those emulation fans out there, there is almost no better way to get reasonable emulation than the Raspberry Pi. You can get a Raspberry Pi for like 38 bucks, up to 100 depending if you want a full kit. But the Raspberry Pi is an essential piece of gaming hardware for those emulation fans out there. You can put it in your arcade one-up, you can attach it to your TV, you can use Bluetooth controllers. It doesn't make a difference. It is a fantastic little piece of hardware and gamers love the Raspberry Pi. 
For those retro arcade fans out there, if you want the arcade feel but you can't make a cabinet but you want to have the joysticks, oh, the X Arcade stick is one of the biggest bangs for the buck you can get. For $100 to $150, X Arcade puts out some pretty solid pieces of equipment. My kids don't really know how to play games all that well, especially arcade. They just hang on the joysticks and beat them to death, and they have held up for a couple years. I absolutely love these in my main cabinet, but if you want to put on your lap, put on a coffee table, and play some classic arcade games, or hook it up to your modern console, it works perfect. What kind of gamer doesn't like wearing gaming shirts? As a kid, we got socks, underwear, grandma made us some slippers. No offense, grandma, I love the slippers, but... <laughs> They're no Mega Man t-shirt, so if you have a gamer in your life from 10 to 20, 30, 40 bucks, depending on what you want to spend, there's tons of apparel out there, and they're going to feel rad and nerdy at the same time. The next one is one that I'm going to talk my wife into, because we're going to have to get this, and it's the NES cartridge shower curtain. <laughs> yeah, the NES cartridge shower curtain, and when you're in it, it literally puts you in like the window, so it looks like you're in the game. It's kind of a cool shower curtain, and for 25 bucks, it's going to be getting sent out, whether my wife likes it or not. Next up is a piece of decor for any room, but really for a game room, Yoshi's egg light would look fantastic. I don't think it's the brightest light in the world, but we're not here to light up the world. We're here just to put a little ambiance in the corner and people can walk in and go, dude, is that Yoshi's egg light? Yeah, of course it is. What else would it be? Another book that's only around 18 bucks, and that's the Game Console History Book. Now, it may not be quite as in-depth as like Pant Contrary's full NES and SNES library because there hasn't been as many consoles as games made, but this goes over all of the consoles and gives you a brief history and some really cool pictures. For me, this is a really cool thing to have, and uh, I'm going to be picking this up real quick, like especially for under 20 bucks, a great piece of gaming history that you can sit on a coffee table, put on your bar, leave it in your bedroom, read it before you go to bed at night. You know what I'm saying. For those thirsty Thursdays out there, and if you're out there trying to fight the masses for some really good deals while you're out, you might want to grab this NES cartridge flask. 15 to 20 bucks, looks like an NES cartridge, but when you're having a rough day, when someone got the very last Blu-ray player right out from underneath you, you can pull this out of the pocket, take a pull, get back on your horse, and make it to the next store. Oh man, this is something that I need. If your eyeballs are on fire, then you definitely need some blue filter gaming glasses. There's a whole bunch of prices. I found some for like 18 bucks on Amazon. They got really good reviews and uh, I wear contacts. So some blue filter gaming glasses would do me justice. After a long gaming session, I have to like peel these contacts off my eyeballs. So blue filter gaming glasses. If you have a gamer that's addicted to their PC, their PlayStation, their Xbox, you might want to pick up some glasses for them so you can save their corneas. Next up are the 8-bit do or do controllers, and I absolutely love the one I've got. Check it out. Boom. The SN30. Analog sticks, L2, R2. It looks like an SNES controller, but it's got a modern feel. It's got everything I need to play modern games with an old school looking controller, and it works fantastic on that Raspberry Pi that I mentioned a little bit earlier. Anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks, there's a plethora of controllers. There's that word again, second time today, plethora of controllers, ranging from the original kind of remake to the original with some updated features, Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. There's a really cool collection of them and you can check them out on their website. Now, nobody wants a game with anybody online when they have a terrible mic. There's nothing worse than someone screaming in your ear, blowing your eardrums out, and you're having to pull your own headphones off. So get them a decent mic. The Blue Snowball is a fantastic mic for 50 bucks. There's way more expensive, way better options, but this is an amazing mic for the price, and it's one of the more highly rated mics. I actually had it for a long time before I upgraded, but it works perfect, and believe me, the other players will thank that online gamer for getting a new mic. Next up is a really useful piece of equipment, and that's an HDMI splitter. Now, what an HDMI splitter does is you plug into one of your HDMI ports, and then it gives you three additional ports on the bottom. And I absolutely love mine because I have so many consoles hooked up, and it works fantastic. You can run 4K through it if your console does it. If not, it's just a way to save some space on the HDMI ports on the back of your television. And for nine bucks, can't go wrong. You should get one of these for your DVD players or anything else. Not even a gaming thing. Just anybody who has HDMI hookups needs one of these. The 20th item for gamers is a box of sugar-free Red Bull. Oh yeah, sugar-free Red Bull. You wanna know why? My daughter has diabetes and we don't really do sugar in our house anymore because it's a lot of work. And believe me, even if you're not diabetic, your pancreas will thank you later. Drink the sugar-free Red Bull, you get a burst of caffeine, you get all the pop you need to keep gaming all night long. So with that, that's your 20 items for gamers. Ooh, 
Whoa, 20 quick hitters. Hope you guys found something on that list. All price points for the filthy, stinking, rich ones and the people that are just trying to be budget friendly this year. I put a little bit of everything on there and there's a few things on this list that I'm gonna be putting on the old Santa list for myself. So let me know down below which things you wanna get for Christmas, what things you think are gonna be great gifts and what surprised you. Cause I didn't wanna go all mainstream with all PS4 and Xbox consoles. I wanted to give you guys a little taste of something else. Winter Trollstice is almost here, folks. Keep trolling, keep rolling. We'll talk to you later. Jeez. Wow, you all right, buddy? The day after the turkey. The day after turkey. A Thursday, Thursday turkey. Oh, jeez. Could someone come over here and teach me how to speak English? It's my first language and I don't know how to do it yet. When I think about you, I touch my elf. Oh, it's shopping day. And everybody. Maybe I should make a script. Maybe I should write something out. Okay, maybe not. Ow, Nowser, Brownser, Cowser. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, I'd touch my elf. Oh, I'd touch my elf hard. Oh, precious. I've been a bad kid. I'm not going to get anything for Christmas. Hold oh, you, baby Santa. Okay.